Worship create the fear of God in our hearts. Worship creates the fear of God in our hearts. Church, I came to discover in this life, there is no better place than to be at the feet of Jesus. There is no better place, better calling, better high anointed place than to be at the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus is where we find our help. At the feet of Jesus, where we find direction. So when we worship Jesus, we find help in our life. So this morning, I want us to see consecration for worship. We've been consecrated for worship. Consecration for worship. Your life has been consecrated to worship God. You'll be not consecrated for anything. You'll be not be consecrated to do anything. But your life has been consecrated for worship. So I want us to go to uh, Genesis chapter 8, verse, verse 20. The Bible says, Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 and 21. The Bible says, and Noah built an altar unto God, and he took of every clean beast and every clean fowler and offer a burning offering on the altar. Verse 21, and the Lord smelled a sweet savour, and the Lord say in his heart, I will not again cast the ground anymore for man's sake, for his imagination of the heart is evil from his youth. Will I again smite more anything that liveth as I have done? Bible says, God smell a sweet smell, a sweet worship, a sweet altar. And the Lord say, I will never again, I will never again cast the wall, cast these people. What made God say, I will never cast the ground again? It was a sweet Roma. It was a sweet worship when Noah built an altar for God and the incense and the incense went before God and the worship went before God and God smelled the worship. God said, mm, I will never cast the earth again. I will never cast man again because I can feel a good spam. I can feel a good worship and God said, never again will I cast the wall because of worship. When we worship God when the Roma a sweet smell of worship ascend to the throne of God God begin doing good thing God turn curses into blessing God turn sickness into healing God can the impossible to become possible because of worship God say I will never cast the wall again because there was a person that erected an altar for worship to God and he took a clean beast, a clean animals and he raised an altar and he offered the burning sacrifice unto God. Church, we've been called, we've been consecrated for worship worship God. When we worship God, God smell and he say never again, never again will I cast the earth because of man. Say my amen. Let's go to John chapter 4. Let's go to John chapter 4. John chapter 4 verse verse 20 20 uh, John 23, John 23, 12, 23, Bible says, uh, yes, 20, verse 20, say, and John chapter 4, verse 20, because of time, 
Let me just read this 23 or 22. You worship ye not. You worship ye no not. What? We, we know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. 23. But the hour, but the hour coming and the hour is now when the true worship, when the true worshipers shall worship God we shall worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such that shall worship him in the spirit. Bible says God is a spirit. And those that worship him must worship God in spirit and in truth. So the Bible says the hour cometh. And the hour of worshiping God in spirit is now. It is not tomorrow. Jesus talked with this woman. He say, you worship in mountain. You worship in hill. But time is coming. And the time is now. When the true worshippers will not go to the mountain. When the true worshippers will not go to Jerusalem. But time to worship God is now. And the Bible says that those that worship God must worship God in truth. And in spirit, church, we must understand that God is a spirit. God is a spirit, and those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Say amen. So, what let me up uh, say what is worship? What is the Pamba way? Let me talk about worship now. Let me leave scriptures now. Bible says, now to worship, what is to worship? To worship is to pay divine honor to God. Worship is to pay divine honor to God. Worship is to adore God. When we say we are worshiping God, we adore God. That worship is an act of hearts. Worship is an act of what? It is not an act of your thoughts. It is not the act of the activity. Worship is an act of heart. It is heart to heart. Your heart connect with the heart of God and you begin worshiping God from your heart. We worship God from our heart. So worship is heart to heart. It's the heart of God to heart of man. So worship is a heart of God connecting with the heart of man. So worship is heart to heart. When you are worshiping God, your heart must be connected to God so that you worship heart to heart. Say my amen. So worship, uh, and we cannot worship God from distance. We cannot stand, you cannot worship God from distance. But you need to connect heart to heart. So worship, rich come, rich come, rich push up. Worship means to prostrate. Worship means to prostrate. Come on, Arazika, time at Jerusalem. Can you prostrate? It's lying down. When the chin flat, worship is to prostrate. It's falling down. And look at if you worship is falling down on your face on the ground. Bila mefanya. Kwa budu mungu is falling down and your face on the ground in adoration. So worship is to prostrate. To prostrate ni vile Richard mefanya. Panwa mikono zako Richard. Fanya mikono if to prostrate. To stretch. To stretch your hands in adoration to God. So when we say prostrate, that means you fall down. You fall down your face on the ground in adoration. Then you bow down. You bow down and you fall flat before God. So worship is kneeling before God. Can you kneel before God? So Mama Richard, can you kneel before God? So worship is kneeling before God. It's kneeling before God. Can you lift up your hands to Jesus? Worship is kneeling before God in adoration, in reverence. Worship is kneeling before God in adoration, in paying divine allegiance. You pay divine allegiance. So worship
worship is bowing down, kneeling before God, paying divine allegiance. So what Daud, uh, what Peter, uh, uh, what Rich is doing is worshiping God. So when we say we are worshiping God, we are not just standing. Worship is an honor to God. You honor God by kneeling down and by paying divine allegiance to God. So when we are worshiping God, this is how the church is supposed to be. This is what the church was called to do. This is what the position of the church is supposed to be. Church, this is our position in the presence of God. So worship is to pay divine honor to God. Worship is kissing the king. Kissing the king now. You kiss the king by using the word of God. Worship is kissing the king. You kiss the father. You tell him good words. You tell him you love him. You tell him how beautiful he is. How dear he is. How precious he is. So worship is kissing the king. And how do we kiss the king? By good words. By embracing his presence. By embracing his authority. By embracing his honor. By embracing his nature. By embracing God in respect and honor. So worship create fear in the heart of man. Worship in a great fear in the heart of man. This is a temple. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This is temple has been consecrated to worship God. This temple has been given fully, fully, holy to God that he may worship God. So church, this is our position. When we say we are worshiping God, it is not just mere words. This is our position as the church. God bless you, Baba. Pick up one of my coffee. So worship is kissing the king. Worship is an outpouring of the heart in a deep expression of reverence. Worship is, a, a, is an overflow of the heart that you pour in deep expression, in deep expression of reverence and honor. So worship is an outpouring of your heart in deep expression that you express in reference in loving God. So worship, I'm saying, is the pain, divine legions to God, to worship. Worship is an act. Worship is a practice of discipline that you show your love to God. Worship, you discipline your life. You discipline your hearts to love God. You see, you cannot give what you don't have. You need the love of God. The world is dying because they need the love. But when we know how to worship God, we will know how to give the world the love of Christ. The world today is crying for the love. The marriage today is crying for the love. The dying people in hospital, they need only the love. So when we know how to worship the Father, we will give them the love of Christ. Church, the world don't need big preaching. It needs the love of Christ in their hearts. So worship is a practice that you practice to show the love of Christ. It's considering Jesus very dear. Worship is considering Jesus to be dear in your heart. Say my amen. So worship. The more we minister to him, the more he moves closer to us. The more we minister to God. Church, we've been not called to sing for God. We've been called to minister to God. We come to minister. When we minister to God, he moves closer. When we come to minister to God, we come, God move closer. We come to minister to God, God come closer. The more we minister to God, the more he come closer to us. Tunapomu, tumia mungu. Katika 
friends zetu ndipo anasonga karibu the more he move closer to us and the closer we move to him the closer we move to him so we must understand kwamba the more we decide to worship god the more we become like him the more we desire to worship god the more we become like him i came to say you become like the person you worship you become like the food you eat the more we worship god the more he loves us the more he reveal himself to us the more we minister to him the more he reveal himself to us say my amen so worship worship is a cornerstone of our relationship with Jesus Christ worship is our cornerstone of relation to relationship with Jesus church we must understand that we've been called to worship the father you must understand before coming to Jesus you must understand the nature of God before worshiping God in first peter chapter 1 first 15 to 16 so when you come to worship God you must understand the nature of God the nature of God is holy the nature of God is righteous the nature of God is God is faithful so when we come to worship God we must understand that God is holy you are worshiping a holy God and the Bible says be he holy because I am holy be he holy because I'm holy we call on holy God but God say be he holy because it is written be he holy because I am holy we must be holy because God is holy when we come to worship God we must understand we are worshiping holy God say my amen atumabudu rais atumabudu governor wakati nakuja mbele za Mungu kuja ukijua kwamba ninaabudu Mungu mtakatifu so we must understand kwamba we must be holy in our conduct as we come to worship God we must be holy in our character our character because holiness is the character of God holiness is the character of God God is holy and his character is holy we worship a holy God. So when we come before God, we must know that our character, our conduct, our talk, our lifestyle must be holy. Must be holy. As we approach in the throne of God, the throne of his seat, we must appear with a character that are holy. We must appear with our conduct is holy. Our talk must be holy. Our behavior must be holy. Because our God is a holy God. Say amen. So holiness is to be set apart. To be holy is to be set apart. To be set apart for God. To be holy. What is holy? To be holy is to be set apart. To be set apart for God. To be set apart for God use. So when we say, Kwamba be holy, we are saying, be separated. Be set apart for God. Be set apart for holiness of God. Be set apart for the worship of God. So you must understand, to be holy means to be set apart for the use of God's kingdom. So church, we must understand that sanctification is the only way to the holiness. Sanctification is the only way to holiness. To be holy, the way to, to holiness is the way of sanctification. When we are sanctified, then we are leading to the way of holiness. We must understand sanctification is the only way to holiness. Church, putting on wrong dress, nakitamba, nasuti msuri, is not holiness. But sanctification is the only way to be set apart. Sanctification is the only way to 
be used by God. If you want to be used by God, the only way is sanctification. That's, we must be set apart for the presence of God. When it comes to worship, it has to do with God's presence and his nature. When we come to worship God, it is worship it has to do with God's presence and his nature. When we come to worship God, worship has to do with everything with God's presence and the character of God. So when we come to worship, worship that the word of God is not the basic it's not worship every worship must be worship by the basis of the word of God so hakuna kutuambia kwamba aputi mungu kwa maneno yako hauna maneno ya kwa mtu mungu kwa aputi mungu ni neno lake kile kwa aputi lazima msingi yake iwe ni neno la mungu kile kwa aputi jambo ya kwa aputi nikumwambia mungu neno lake unamwambia mungu wewe ni mtakatifu wewe ni mungu usiyabadilika wewe ni yule jana na hata leo na hata kesho ahadi zako ni kweli kunuhusu mipango zako juu ya maisha yangu haitafunjika mipango zako mawazo yako juu ya maisha yangu haitaondolewa maana wewe ni Mungu usiyabadilika wewe ni yule jana na leo na hata kesho uliyetenda jana utatenda leo uliyetenda leo utatenda kesho Mungu yupo ni mtakatifu anataka watu tumwabudu katika utakatifu Church, we must understand that we've been consecrated to worship God. We must be holy. Holiness is not a choice. Holiness is not a choice. Holiness is a command. It is written, be ye holy because I'm holy. It is not about your decision. Kwamba ninaamua kuwa mtakatifu. Hakuna kuwa mtakatifu. Mungu ametuamrisha be ye holy because I'm holy. Holiness is a command. Holiness is not your decision. Holiness is not what you choose to do. Holiness is a command. You must be holy. You must be holy. So, church understand that nipatie wakati wetunuruzwa hivi tu sitaweza nipatie kwa tunga revelation chapter ngapi chapter 5 chapter 4 11 revelation bible says because it is a command to worship god worship is must come from the altar worship when you come i'm looking for a day ndomba pastor gusa ili ni mambo hapa nako Nielesee vitu vingi because hivi vitu vimesikika. Hata nikisqueeze tuelewe utaelewa. Inataka tu enough time. I cannot squeeze but let me let me do. Ile nakusaidia. Worship need preparation. Wakati nakuja kuabudu Mungu, it need preparation. You must prepare from the outer court. You come from the outer court, you prepare to enter holy of holy. You cannot enter into holy of holy with sin. Just like the priest the priest hanga in gear mali patakatifu pa watakatifu kama hajatoa tabiu zake na tabiu za watu so wakati unakuja kumwabudu Mungu preparation is needed you must prepare your heart you must prepare yourself kwamba unakuja kuingia patakatifu kwa watakatifu maana Mungu ni mtakatifu kwa hivyo unapokuja kuabudu Mungu lazima ujiandae andaa mawaso andaa moyo andaa mwili maana lazima utoke katika mwili uingie katika nafsi uingie katika roho ndipo umwabudu Mungu Kwa Mungu lazima utoke. Kwa 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 
is needed. Man is created in three same tattoo. Man is a body. Man is a soul. Man is a spirit. But you must come from the body. You come from the soul. You come to the spirit so that you can worship God in truth and in spirit. We need to work on ourselves. Church, worship us. We need to prepare. It is not about the song. Worship is more than a song. Worship is more than a song. Worship is your lifestyle. Lifestyle you live. Lifestyle you are doing at the marketplace. Lifestyle at home. Lifestyle in your office. Worship is the way you dress. The way you contact yourself. Our life is about worship. Our life is about worship. Worship is your very lifestyle. Worship is not a song. Your mission worship. Man was created to stay in God's presence. Man was created to stay in God's presence. When man is removed from God's presence, man begins dying. Man begins withering. Man begins losing direction. Because God created man to live in his presence. Man, you are created. You are created to live in God's presence. Presence. Anyway, church. Samatu wish you come at it. God is God of Elisha. Samatu wish you come at it. Ukitaka kuwa samaki. Njia raiti ya kuwa samaki. Unamtoa katika maji. Njia raiti ya kuwa samaki. Nukutoa katika maji. Unapotoa samaki kwa maji. Mawitaji kuwa. Tiari ya kuwa. Mana maini kwa sababu ya maji. Mana baba kwa sababu ya maji. Tuhai kwa sababu ya maji. Nataka wepo, nataka wepo, sitaki kuimba, na 
nataka uwepo sitaki kupiri nataka uwepo sitaki kanisa nataka uwepo sitaki wimbo nataka uwepo nataka uwepo nataka uwepo kama uwepo haupana mimi sitaubiri kama uwepo Musa akaelewa siri akamwambia Mungu itajulikanaje nimepata kibali itajulikanaje mimi ni mtumishi wako itajulikanaje nimeitwa na wewe kama sina uwepo itajulikanaje mimi nimeitwa na Mungu lazima kuwa na kisasi ambaye inatembea na uwepo wa Mungu tunahitaji uwepo wa Mungu mili zetu lazima ipepe uwepo wa Mungu tunahitaji uwepo wa Mungu Ashas mnataka na uwepo wa Mungu mtu wa mapepo akiingia anaanguka tu wataenda kazi mnahitaji uwepo shetani wa buduo wakikupita tu uwepo wa Mungu ni moto wa Mungu uwepo wa Mungu ni utukufu wa Mungu unapopita anaanza kusimia simia maana shetani anaogopa uwepo awezi kukaa penye uwepo upo shetani anaogopa moto wa uwepo atakaa pale maana uwepo wa Mungu ni Mungu mwenyewe katika watu wake uwepo uwepo wa Mungu imeenda wapi kanisani imeenda wapi kanisani katika wimbaji wetu kila kitamleta Mungu chini ni vile tumejiandaa si dini si wimbaji si fashion si nini kila kitamshukisha Mungu chini atembee katikati yetu na ponya magonjo na tenda ishara na majabu na leta urejesho ni uwepo wa Mungu na vile tumejiandaa kupepa uwepo na utukufu wa Mungu kanisa Mungu anatuita tutafuta uwepo tusitafuta titles tusitafuta vieti wacha tutafute uwepo wa Mungu tumechoka na matitles tumechoka na machina tunataka uwepo tunataka uwepo tunataka uwepo uwepo wa Mungu ndio tunahitaji kama kanisa kama kanisa tunahitaji uwepo tunahitaji uwepo worship is more than a song worship is more than the good preaching we are going tunaenda kuhubiri leo worship we cannot shika Mungu na wimbo mzuri tunashika Mungu na uwepo wake ukitaka kushika Mungu shika Mungu kwa uwepo wake maneno ya kuja kanisani to go dry because people don't prepare themselves tunakuja kanisani tumekaukiwa hata kusema tu Yesu ni bwana ni tabu hata kuinua mikono ni tabu kupika magodi unaona kitenga yako itachafuka kanisa let's come out from those things times of games is over over the church times of fake worship is over the church times of play playing comes in the church is over it's time we offer good worship unto our god unto our god unto our god oh jesus i thank you lord bible says that 24 elders when they worship god they worship god say holy holy is god and when they worship god the bible says they cast their crown before god they cast their crown before god church we have the crown when we come to the god we empty ourselves we empty our hearts we cast our crown before god we cast our titles before god we cast our families before god we cast our jobs our promotion the crown of your promotion you cast it before god like the 24 elders when they come before god they cast their crown and begin saying what is the lamb what is the lamb that was slain to take power to take dominion to take power blessing and honor belongs to him who that liveth forever and forever church we have titles we must cast them we have titles we have business so to am here i have money your money will not help you time comes when money cannot help time comes 
when you don't need that money. Time comes when you need God. You are situation doesn't need money. Your problem, the problems money can never solve. The problem, your bank account can never help. It is only God that can help you. When you find God, you find everything. When you find God, you find the power. When you find God, you find solution. When you find God, you find breakthrough. Money can never help you. When you come before God, learn to bow, learn to worship, learn to kneel, learn to cry, learn to lift your hands to Jesus. Worship him that live it forever. Worship him that's able to shed away your tears. Worship him that's able to wipe your tears. Worship him that's able to remove your shame. Worship him that's able to remove your rejection. Worship him that's able to make a way where there is no way. Worship God of the miracle. Worship God of the power. Worship God that rose the mountain. Every mountain might be for God when we worship. God, every mountain must man in Jesus' name. We must worship God, child. When the angels come, when the angels appear before God, the 24 elders, Hatawe Ucheda and Binguni, the West Wabudu Mungo, Kuna Musa, Kuna Kina Elijah, the 24 elders, Kina Enoch, they are in heaven. But they did exploit. Kina Daniel, they did exploit. But what if it? Katika ensi ya mungu. Wana anguka. Bile Richard ali anguka. Wana anguka kifuti futi. Waki mwabia buwana. Wasta ili. Mwana kontro. Wasta ili. Ulie chinchwa. Wasta ili. Kupokea sifa. Wasta ili. Kwa budiwa. Wasta ili. Kupokea sifa. Na mungu pinguni. Anapata kuchitukusa. Kwa sababu ya kwa budu. Kanisa. Mungu hata weasa kuchiabudu. God can never worship himself. You are created to worship God. Oh Jesus, thank you. Worship is a place of encounter. If you want to encounter with God, you must learn to worship God. The thing that we in life, when we worship God, when the power of worship touches the altar, when the power of worship touches the altar, healing begin taking place. Demon begin manifesting and live when we worship God. And the power of worship touches the altar. Restoration of families begin to happen. Restoration in our life begin to happen because the worship has the power to restore. Nana Likwambia kwamba ni maombi tu inaletanga urejesho kwa sababu waabudu Mungu nimeshinda watu ndio maana wachelewa nguvu za kuabudu nguvu za kuabudu Mungu sikikusa madhibao uponyaji inaanza the prophetic voices when we need God to speak in the church we worship God when we worship God prophetic voice shall be released prophetic voice come to speak to the church when we worship God, God releases prophetic voice and prophetic voice come to give the church direction. Prophetic voice come to rebuild the church and bring order in the house. When we worship God, everything come to its position. Worship. In a letter to Sawa Sawa, Panyumbaya Mungu. Kanisa, ni wakati wa kumurudi kumuabudi mungu. Mimi sijui kusipoe wako. Na, nataka kusema hivi. He, hivi tu. Nataka kusema hivi. Kwabudi mungu, si wa imbaji tu. Kutasema wali ubiri wa imbaji. Kila mungu, anatafuta kila mtu. Atakaya mwabudu. Katika kweli na roho. Kila mtu aliotolewa katika misri. Aliotolewa katika ufungwa. Aliotolewa na mungu. Aliokolewa ili abudu mungu. Na Musa anambia farao. Lazima twende. Tumuabudu mungu katika jangwa. Mungu ametuita. Mahali pa kuabudu. Mungu anadutoa. Katika ufungwa. Mungu anadutoa. Katika magareza. Ili 
kwenda mahali pa kuabudu Mungu. Oh, wana wa Israeli walitolewa Misri, walitolewa bondages, walitolewa kwa umateka ili watoke kwa umateka wao na uhudu wa kumwabudu Mungu. Kanisha umeokolewa, umetolewa kwa bondage ili umwabudu Mungu. Na lazima uelewe kwamba kila kitu katika maisha yako lazima imwabudu Mungu. Lazima imwabudu Mungu. Na when we are worshiping, our focus should be on Christ. Christ crucified. Christ the power of God. Christ the lamp of God. Our worship the focus of our worship is Christ. The focus of our worship, the center of our worship is Christ, the power of God. Christ goes for him. Christ is able. Kanisa. Unajua watu tumetoa macho kwa Kristo na tumerudisha macho katika taabu zetu. Watu tumetoa macho katika the focus with Christ na tumeweka macho. Sasa tukisema tuabudu Mungu. Una eh, 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 eh. Kumba si Mungu. Ni shida zako. Ni shida zako. Unaanza oh, oh, oh. tunafikiria ni roho mtakatifu. Kumba kuna roho mtakatifu. Every family spirit I rebuke it. I rebuke it. Every family spirit, every spirit of lying, I rebuke it. Prophetic word is based on the word of God. Neno ya kinabi inapesiwa na neno la Mungu prophetic utterance prophetic voice inapepwa na neno la Mungu kama una neno usitulete unabi kama una neno usitutabirie kama una neno hatuhitaji kutabiriwa na mambo yako maana Mungu si mambo Mungu ni neno kila roho roho ambaye inajifanya ni ya unabi na si ya unabi i creep you today in this atmosphere every lying spirit spirit that pretend to be prophetic confusion god is not the god of confusion god is the god of order they must be in the house order when we worship god in truth and in spirit god come down and begin speaking god come down and begin addressing our issue so we need to worship god in truth and in spirit nikwambie kwa nini we have to check your life kama unatupata pia ni nabii are you a true worshiper kama unatupea unabii are you true worshiper are you worshiping god in truth and in spirit a true worshiper knows the voice of god Church, God never intended his children to struggle to hear the voice of God. God never intended for his children to struggle to understand God. It was not in the purpose of God. But we have complicated things. We have complicated messages. Until Mungu ni mgumu kumuelewa. Church, Mungu si kumungumu wa kumuelewa. Hata tumkii Mungu mgumu maana Mungu anajua kwamba sisi ni watu wa mwili na tunageukanga kwa hivyo Mungu ataongea na sisi kwa kiwango ambayo tutamuelewa kama mama aongea apya na mtoto na mtoto anaelewa lugha ya mama ndipo Mungu anaongea na sisi katika lugha ambayo tunaelewa na nikwambia Mungu ni complicated. Tumefanya uchumba imekuwa ngumu kabisa. Mpaka kueleweka tuelewe. Ni kwa sababu tunangangana kifikiri kwamba kungangana ndio kutumikia Mungu. Ukingangana hiyo ni kasi ya mwili. Kungangana kuhubiri na uhubiri ni kasi ya mwili. Lakini I don't preach out of the flesh. I hear God. Si tachi kungangana. But we have come to a place we think God is hard. Mpaka tusukuma maneno to twist the word of god ingia kwa masingira yetu do you want to call tumeubiri sitachangana neno la mungu i will say the truth bible says you will know the truth i 
and the truth you know shall set you free. If you know the truth, you shall be free. What set people free? It is the truth. Church, God wants us to understand him better. Because if we don't understand God better, it will be so hard to understand this God. If we don't understand God, it will be so hard to know the will of God. But God, and I to let a command of farm. Kanisha. Paul akasema ili ni mchwe. Ili ni mchwe. Na nguvu zako na kuteseka kwako kwa msalaba. That I may know him. Paul the apostle anasema that I may know him and the power of his resurrection be made comfortable unto me or unto his death. Ili tumchwe Kristo. Kanisha. We worship whom we know. We worship whom we know. Mungu Yesu akamwambia yo mama nyinyi mnaabudu kitu msicho kichua lakini sisi tunaabudu Mungu tunaye mchua siku moja Paulo akapita mali pa kulikuwa na masanamu mengi ilikuwa imeandikwa to an god that is not unknown to unknown god na Paulo akakasirika alipoona watu wanaabudu to unknown god He rebuilt the city because these people they were worshiping God that they don't know a to unknown God. Some of us today we are worshiping a God that we don't know. We are worshiping a God that you have never encountered with him. We are worshiping God that you have never touched his power. You are worshiping God that you don't even understand his character. Nitaomba pastor tukine basi. Amen. Mana tuabudu Mungu. Mimi ndio kuabudu ni mingi. Nataka tuinue mikono.